Here's what happened. Some time ago, guys from Sig Begleria asked us to review one of their set. What an honor! Their work is incredible. Before we really reveal it, I'd like to put you in the vibe of it. So let's just sit back and listen to the sounds of nature and clacking. <laughs> Sik Begleria comes from Greece, just like Begleria itself. It's a family journey in the making with Ilias Kritikos as captain, a passionate artist who never takes any shortcuts and is always looking for something special. Everything about this feels special, we realized it right after opening the package. There was a handwritten note inside explaining that the beads are made from asphaltus wood and resin. It also tells that the thorny branches of asphaltus wood in ancient Greek were used to beat and punish tyrants in Hades. I believe that the vibe of it is still in it and maybe it can be used as a talisman to avoid doing bad things? Am I thinking out loud? Anyway, once you open the package, you discover that the beglery is sealed in this precisely crafted chest. It feels very festive and uh, unsealing it felt like a ceremony. And then you open the chest and the beglery is still hidden in wood shavings. Hidden until the very last moment. It's very mysterious, charming, and it makes you more and more curious. And when it finally revealed itself, I just picked it up festively and just speechlessly observed it for a while. You know, I like to talk about sinusoids, dualities, creating a wholeness, so I really love that those beats are made from both natural and artificial materials. Wood and resin, two different things holding together just like me and my wife. <laughs> when I look at this particular piece, I see a beach or coast and then the ocean in distance and when I look above the ocean, I see a night sky filled with stars. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, let's be objective for once. Weight of each bead is approximately 10 grams. The pair is almost perfectly balanced, which I find impressive. I mean, each bead is unique and yet they are the same. They have 25 mm in diameter and they are 23.5 mm tall. Once you set the right length for your string, beads are secured on each end of it, so they don't tend to move. Generally, both the shape and the weight of beads indicates that this is a beginner friendly set. It's also suitable for doing rolls, uh, gap transfers and more. The head is rather flat, but it doesn't take long to get used to it. Generally, it feels like uh, you have to spread your fingers more than you usually used to when performing uh, advanced-ish tricks. Moving to the string, I see high quality Paracord Type 100 which has 2 mm in diameter. It looks pretty much the same as our Type 100, uh, so how does it work for 10 gram beads? It makes them swift and precise. Beads are actually designed for Type 100. Switching to let's say 550 would need uh, some kind of conversion, which can be done. I figured it this way, for example. My experience is, when I put any bead on a thicker string, it would make the beglery first of all softer, then I would say slower, especially with light beads. It's because thick cord has some kind of resistance, I mean, it tries to stay straight. On the other hand, type 100 and other cords with low resistance, they bend more easily. Long story short, with a thin string, a beglery feels swift and wild, with a thick string, it feels lazy and comfortable. When designing a set, we need to decide how we want it to be, then carefully match the right beat with the right string to provide a desired effect. And Sig Begleria managed that perfectly. This set, using 10 gram beads and 2 mm string, is balanced to feel alive, playful and controllable. I like 4 mm 550 and I'm absolutely okay with this set using 2 mm cord. Anyway, the best way to enjoy it is to let it soothe you. 
To me, this is a 1200 cruiser, and that's not something you use to have an adrenaline rush. It's meant for emotional ride, full of joy and relaxation with beautiful sounds. There are plenty of repeaters and tricks that suit perfectly for this set, especially those old school movements that came from Greece. It consists of repeaters, tension grips, pinching, releasing, and there are tricks for both a long and short game version. This is a simple single grip repeater, just to give you some basic idea how it feels like. Last thing to point out. The beats are really durable. Not only they didn't break even after several falls on ground, they also barely show any signs of using even after all this dinging, which is the most important thing I would say. So it's not just a nice collectible, it stays beautiful, it stays shiny. And still I'm treating it like a glass ball, because it just feels so precious and so unique. Sigbagleria is doing a great job and we feel very thankful for this opportunity. Also, we are sorry for taking so much time to do this. Very well. I hope uh, the presentation was understandable and enjoyable. Learn about Sikh Begleria, learn about Begleri Twister, keep slinging and uh, have a nice day.